Hey guys, for this episode, I want to talk a little bit about the toys that I just mentioned in the previous video for What You Do on Wednesday. So let's get started. Um, let's talk a little bit about The Flash. So The Flash is one of my favorite characters of all time. I have a whole shelf dedicated to them. Like, I, I just love The Flash. I love Speedsters. I love Sonic. I love the Thief class and all RPG systems. I love fast characters. That's just, that's my that's my thing. This is from the DC Icons line, and there's a lot of flack about it because it's, it's smaller than a regular Marvel Legends character. So I'm not sure about the exact exact height of this, but you know, for for small Asian hands for scale, that's how big it is. Uh, this one here I got from my buddy Kato. Kato's a he's this really crazy nerd with, uh, from um, from Double Genre. He writes great articles. He's funny. He has a great sense of dark humor. He uh, gave this to me for a fair price and it came with a cosmic treadmill. Uh, it was a little broken but I just super glued it. Easy fix. And I actually broke the wing off a little bit but I just super glued that so it works fine. Um, and the flash comes up with uh, two other hands you know for running action. Uh, and he's cool. Fully posable and everything. Can do like the whole twist. Can like give you the muscle that sort of thing. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is actually the type of material that they chose to give the red on. It actually looks more like those cheap plastic toys that you get at dollar at uh, dollar stores. So, like, the plastic just kind of resembles like that cheap um, generic plastic look. Um, so that's my only gripe with it. And the head sculpt is okay. Like what I'm finding a lot for a lot of these uh, DC icon lines is that the faces are very hit or miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, and unfortunately for The Flash, he looks like a dolt. Not the greatest looking guy, but you know what, he finishes up my Justice League that I've been trying to assemble for a while. I've been trying to unite the league. So the next thing I want to talk about is Aquaman. So I got this actually from uh, Garcia Cards and Comics, and you can check them out um, on Instagram. I think there's, there's also a, a storefront for there. He's local to the San Francisco South Bay area, so he can do like uh, local, um, local deliveries if you live in the South Bay, like San Jose. And then he even takes Venmo too, so you know you don't have to give him a cold hard cash. Really good guy. This one is also from the DC Icons figure line, and it's a, it's also really nice. Um, this one is, is one of the better ones because of the kind of like the orange scaly texture on him, which is really nice. Comes with the trident, or his little weapon, his fork to, you know, poke people with. And fully posable and everything, can make him you know, flex his muscles, flex his hands. Uh, the cool thing about him is uh, the accessories. One of the accessories that he does have is he has the little, uh, the, like he can send out messages to his sea animal friends and then they come out and they help him save the day, right? So they, the, uh, the box actually came with a little thing uh, so that it could look like he's, you know, like calling for help. And I honestly thought that it was like some sort of unicorn thing that he puts on his head until I saw like the other figure, there's like a little hole on there. Uh, so this is overall a good figure, you can pose it pretty good. And the face sculpt is actually pretty good. It really doesn't look too bad, it actually looks like his character, you know, kind of mean, angry, that sort of thing. Not the Jason Momoa version, this is the um, white bread version. And the last toy that I want to talk about is uh, the show that I always talk about. It's called iZombie, right? iZombie is on CW, it's a mid-season show. Uh, this toy here is from Diamond, I forget, the, I forget the exact name, but it's from Diamond. And this one is quite good. There are two action figures actually of the title character Liv Moore, Elizabeth Moore, or Liv Moore, right? Because it's about zombies. This one is the season one, and this one is it's very nice. This uh, this one here has, and of course, like bend the legs and everything. The, the hands can be interchanged. So one hand is the chopstick one. There's another hand that uh, where you can hold like a lead pipe. Um, and she also kind of comes with a few accessories. Uh, she has a a little um, like a medical dish pan with a brain in it because you know she eats brains. That's how she has to live if she doesn't want to become feral in the in the show so really good she also has a little frappuccino beverage in the morning orange pumpkin spice so yeah this one's really good uh, this one i got from c3 comics they're um 
Uh, Barrett is a guy who runs it and he lives all the way on the East Coast and for some reason I found him, he posted some pictures and he hit, hits me up once in a while and he has some good toys that I always like to get shipped over because, you know, I'm a sucker for that. This one is cool, number one, because it has a little peg stand and things don't stand, like they never stand and this one has a peg stand so I'm very happy to finally have something where, you know, you can just put the peg on there. Um, if there's anybody who knows where I could get reliable peg stands, I would really love to know that. Because, you know, pegs fit different figures and all that, and that's the thing that I'm, I worry most about. So, mostly I just want to be able to put pegs onto my DC Icon figures, because Wonder Woman especially, she falls over so easily, it's annoying. So I'm afraid to ever touch her, just like women in general. So that's it for toys for, for this video. I'll share more later on as like a November and December roll by because it's, you know, holiday season, toys come out. We'll talk more. Show me your toys, guys. Show me your toys. Follow me on Instagram at little underscore nerd underscore busters if you want to check out some of the like more classy photos and stuff like that, or at least my attempt to try and do them. Till next time, guys. Bye.